Good day, you beautiful ones in Christ. Glory to God on this day and honour and glory and blessings to you all wherever you are in this world. I've come today to bring some good news, some words of comfort and hope uh, to those who may be in fear of the things coming upon the world and to, uh, and, and to show the light that's coming uh, and God who is glorifying himself in the nations in this time period or is about to do that. Um, and these words of comfort are to show us that we need to have no fear or be in distress or anguish about the things coming upon the earth. We'll let those who are not don't know God, who reject God, will let those be in anguish and fear and distress. But those who are in Christ have no fear. They have no distress. And so our job is to bring comfort for those people, those very ones. And let me show you what the Lord will do in the glorifying of himself. And it's not what you think. It's not doom or gloom. Here we go. Psalm 46, 9. Oh, let me start from the beginning. Psalm 46. God is our shelter, our strength. Every ready to help in time of trouble. So we shall not be afraid when the earth gives way. When the mountains tumble into the depths of the sea. And its waters roar and seethe. The mountains tottering as it heaves. There is a river whose streams refresh, whose streams refresh the city of God, and it sanctifies the dwelling of the Most High. God is inside that city. She can never fail. A crack of dawn, God helps her to the roaring of nations and tottering of kingdoms. When he shouts, the world disintegrates. Come, think of Yahweh's marvels. The astounding things he has done in the world. All over the world he puts an end to wars. He breaks the bow. He snaps the spear. He gives shields to the flames. Pause a while and know that I am God. Exalted amongst the nations. Exalted over the earth. And if we have a look in um, Micah 4, a continuation about the glory of God that is going to be seen in the earth. In days to come, the mountains of the temple of Yahweh will be put on top of the mountains and lifted higher than the hills. The peoples will stream to it. Nations without number will come to it. And they will say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the temple of the God of Jacob, so that he may teach us his ways, and we may walk in his paths, since from Zion the law will go out, and the oracle of Yahweh from Jerusalem, and he will wield authority over many peoples, and arbitrate for mighty nations. They will hammer their swords into plowshares, their spears into sickles. Nation will not lift sword against nation, there will be no more training for war. Each man will sit under his vine and his fig tree, and no one without trouble, and no one will trouble him. The mouth of Yahweh Sabaoth has spoken it. For the, all the peoples go forward, each in the name of its God, but we will go forward in the name of Yahweh, our God, for ever and evermore. This is what's to come, you peoples. This is why we have no fear against the things coming upon the earth, against the darkness, against the doom and gloom. We have no fear, for we know what is to come. Nations will not lift up sword against nation. There will be no more training for war. This is the will of God in the earth, that he brings an end to war, 
that he brings an end to the destruction. He brings an end to doom and gloom. And in our praise, in our, in our cries out, when our crying out for the end of wars, for the end of violence in the earth, it will surely be given. The blessing will be given for those who are weary, those who are troubled, those who are seeking a way out of the doom and gloom and darkness. And the kingdom of God will be exalted and lifted above all the other mountains. And we will see God and he will glorify himself in the earth. And they, many peoples will come. Many peoples will see him and give glory to Yahweh, to the Lord of the heavens and earth, to the great I am. This is what's to come. This is the will of God. So have no fear from the doom and gloom merchants who were talking about the destruction of the earth. There is a time of war and a time for peace. During times of darkness, many will turn to God. They will turn to him and cry out to him. Those who didn't know him, those who didn't seek him, will cry out, will shout for God to do something to deliver them from the darkness and the doom and gloom that is surrounding the earth. But those who are in Christ are not in that doom and gloom and darkness, for they are in the joy of the Lord. They have entered into the kingdom and recommend this and this kingdom and lift this kingdom up high so it will be seen in the earth. And this is how they will strain to it. From the proclamations, the proclamations from the sons and daughters of the kingdom of God, the recommendation of where we should all go in times of darkness. Because of what the Lord Jesus did, we have the assurance, we have the assurance and the promise of swords being turned in turned at the plowshares. This will come to pass. The Lord of hosts has proclaimed it and it will surely happen.